boy. You have to work hard in America, you know? <laughs> Sit here playing. What's up, people? Another beautiful day. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. We're excellent. What? Oh, so you want to play PC games in your Mercedes Benz, huh? You want Game Pass in your Mercedes Benz, too? Okay. I, I got you covered, man. I got you covered. <laughs> You're like, huh? What? Listen to this. <laughs> Says your PC games are coming to Mercedes Benz vehicles. Thanks to Boosteroid. Remember, remember when Microsoft was giving out those 10-year contracts? Oh yeah, Game Pass is coming to Mercedes, man. You best believe it. Thanks to Boosteroid. <laughs> You're like, huh? What? <laughs> Listen to this. It says here, Boosteroid is a cloud gaming platform that provides easy access to high-end video games on PC, laptops, and tablets. Android TVs and even phones. In 2023, Microsoft signed a deal with Boosteroids to bring PC games to the cloud gaming platform. Yeah, did not tell you this? The entire world runs on Windows? I told you it's a Game Pass world and we're just live, living, living in it. And I also told you, when they bought Activision Blizzard, the video game industry runs through Microsoft. So when Microsoft was sitting there giving out those 10-year contracts to EE, Ubitus, Boosteroid, Nintendo, NVIDIA, yeah, they were giving out those cloud, those cloud, uh, those 10-year contracts, that was the Game Pass seeds pl being planted all over the place. So, so if you understand computers and you understand um, network to topology, yeah, Game Pass. <laughs> and I told you, I told you, I gave you the analogy where uh, the Unreal, Unreal, Unreal um, 2004 analogy uh, on onslaught, where like you had the power core, but then you had the nodes. And then you got Game Pass. I mean, you got Windows over Game Pass. Yeah, it's a Game Pass world, and we're just living in it, man. <laughs> anyway, says here. Uh, through the partnership with Boosteroid, members were able to access PC games purchased through Steam or Epic Game Store. Earlier this year, Microsoft had support for selected games purchased through the Microsoft Store on Windows are available with Game Pass membership. Deathloop, Dishonored, Dishonored 2, Dishonored, Death of the Outsider, Gears of War 5, uh, Gears Tactics, Ghostwire Tokyo, and Pentiment are available with cross-play and cross-save features. Today, Mercedes-Benz announced a partnership with Boosteroid to bring games to to the in-car experience. Boosteroid apps will be available as a part of the MBUX uh, entertainment package. Plus, for vehicles equipped with the third generation uh, MBUX uh, inf info info infotainment system, <laughs> uh, starting next year, says this will allow Mercedes-Benz car owners to enjoy 1,000 plus high quality, including Fortnite <laughs> and Sea of Thieves inside their cars. Since Microsoft has already mentioned that it will it will add more game had more its and fan favorites from its catalogs of PC games to Boosteroid, you can expect more PC titles when Boosteroid app. Uh, launches on Mercedes-Benz card next year. Besides Microsoft games, Mercedes-Benz vehicle will be available to play games from the Epic Game Store, Ubisoft, and more mm, video games, folks. Says here, uh, um, Magnus uh, Os Osberg, Chief Software Officer, Mercedes-Benz uh, AG said, together with Booster Ride, we're offering an even more attractive in-car gaming experience for Mercedes-Benz vehicles. The cloud-based approach to gaming is the ideal way to bring AAA games to our customers and gaming fans alike. It's clear demonstration of how we're further developing MBUX to cater to our customers' expectation. That's why we're excited to be here at Gamescom joining our longtime escort partner, SK Gaming, which is one of the best known, ga uh, best known names in the competitive gaming says the Boosteroid uh, Cloud Gaming app will be available via the in-car app store in Europe and North, North and South America in 2025. The games will be available only when the vehicle is parked and users should not connect their Bluetooth gaming controller or mobile phones. This year, Gamescom visitors can experience the new in-car gaming uh, 
offering in a Mercedes-Benz E-Class. Hmm. <laughs> Spoiled. Anyway, <laughs> that's the end of the article. We got seven comments. Uh, Leon said this. Who would even use this over a handheld PC like the Steam Deck or the ROG Ally or a console like the Nintendo Switch? For example, seriously, who plays game inside the car? <laughs> Other than children on, on long road trips, it all sounds extremely st <laughs> stupid to me. There are tons of better and cheaper alternatives. Hey, man. Game gamers want choices, you know. Uh, Leon. Anyway, he says, uh, it's clear that some car manufacturers don't know what to do anymore to attract customers. Cars have reached their peak, it seems. Nah, they haven't. <laughs> anyway, and then uh, Green Sabat said this, these features will be more in use once self-driving is the standard. Even then, it will only be used by rich people. <laughs> the starting price of a Benz vehicle with this tech is 60k. I did take a 30k vehicle and a Steam Deck over this over this any day. <laughs> yeah, Steam Deck, folks. Anyway, <laughs> someone else, Astra, said this. Don't forget about the monthly data plan that will also be required. The data service for my Audi is $25 a month, and I think Ben's is, is the same. That money is better spent, spent elsewhere. Look, you're not look. You're not gonna stop uh, uh, people from from having their choices, man. If they want to play video games in the car, so be it. <laughs> anyway, then uh, Thanks Life said this: after stealing the after st after stealing the car, they gotta have something to do. <laughs> anyway, and then Nick said this: uh, putting putting gaming into a car makes no sense. Yes, it do. It does, man. <laughs> anyway, if you're playing a single-player game, you're not involved with the other people in the car and the conversation that that they are having. Oh, that's about to be that's about to change. They're going to improve that. That's not even an issue. <laughs> he said, uh, "If you if you're if you're a multiplayer gaming, I hope your dri I hope your driving isn't one of those players, or is this a weirder idea than that people will sit in their cars and play video game rather?" Than do that in other in, do that in their houses. See, people want to game everywhere. Remember, I told you, they want to game at the wash house. They want to game at the grocery store, wherever. <laughs> anyway, which would be considerably more uh, comfortable. And then um, C C Rock said this. I have better ideas how to kill time in a car. <laughs> and then uh, Mr. Electrifier said this. Man, just more and more uh, desperation to make vehicles. A subscription service, no matter what, 24/7 connected vehicles are already a definite no-no for me. Adding gaming doesn't change that. Yes, it do. You have choices. So what if? So what if you're sitting in the car and you can't and you can't and you don't want to run to the house to go get the uh or run to your apartment to go get the uh to get one of those handhelds? Yeah, gaming in cars is good, man. You got you got to ex you got to expand your horizon. You you know. <laughs> I'm sitting here playing. That's the end of the article, though. But uh, yeah, uh, technology moves at the speed of light, man. And um, people want choices, okay? Remember, you were gaming on your desktop, you were gaming on your laptop. Then the Steam Deck showed up, and all of a sudden now, PC gamers can game anywhere. Whether whether they're sitting at a wash house, whether they're out in the park somewhere, whether whether they're camping, they can they can game anywhere. But now we're gonna take it one step further. Now we're gonna game on the car. We, we want they want to game inside their car. So yeah, so if you've seen Back to the Future, you know you you know where this is going. Anyway, <laughs> but other than that, man, uh, yeah, that's the that's the way it is now, man. Technology, man. In the in the words of uh, what's that uh, uh Destiny's Child, can you keep up? <laughs> so yeah, uh, it, it's just giving you more choices, man. So. Uh, um, if I mean, if you can play music in the car, or you can, or you can put TVs in the car, why not? Why not just add video games too? I'm sure you've seen um, when they were doing, uh, I think it was Pimp My Ride, when they had the, uh, they were putting those consoles inside the car. Yeah, we're, we're we're there now, so we can't we can't we can't go back. Like I told you, we can't go back to the old ways of video games. It's dead. <laughs> so yeah. Um, 
and um, Game Pass is fueling this because uh, Microsoft was sitting there giving out ten-year contracts when they when they were um, when they were uh, trying to get uh, call, uh, when they were uh, when they tried to get the uh, uh, Call of Duty, you know, um, when they bought Activision Blizzard, you know, and they were in court with the uh, FTC and the um, the the uh, uh, what's it the European 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 Union and um, the UK. So yeah, Microsoft was sitting there planting their seeds all over the place. So it's working. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Game Pass and a Mercedes Benz. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, man. So yeah, you got to keep up, man. That's that's all it is, you know. With this tech, with this tech stuff, you know, we got AI now. And now, and now we're talking making. Now we're talking about taking video games and expanding it now. So now you can put it in the car, in the bus, in the truck, <laughs> on your bike. And, you know, so yeah. Gotta keep up, man. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video for y'all to enjoy, though. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, the Star Wars, the Star Trek thing. Bored, Dark Side. Go. Peace.